So that's our list of six simple machines. And not everybody agrees on this list. Some people would reduce the list to only four. Some people would say, for example, that if you have an incline, you can push something up the incline. And if you have a wedge, they say a wedge is simply an incline turned a different way. And instead of pushing the object up the incline, if you use a wedge, for example, to split a piece of wood, it's just the incline that is moved instead of the object. But it's still this angular device which is used to generate a force. And some people would say that a screw is simply an incline wrapped around a cylinder. So if you take a cylinder and usually put a pointed end, the threads of the screw are really around the screw. They protrude out like that. And some people would say that that a screw is simply an incline wrapped around a cylinder. So they would say, they would stop the list right there after number four and say a wedge and a screw are really a type of incline. Other people would add to the list and they would say a hydraulic system would also be a simple machine because like many of these others it multiplies the force. It changes the force and the distance in a manner very similar to a lot of these. So there's not universal agreement on the list. But this particular list of these six is pretty common. Now regardless of how you classify the simple machines, all of these do one or more of these things. They can multiply the force. That's one thing a simple machine can do. And the example we've seen of that is the lever. If you have a lever, putting in a small force at one end can result in a much larger force at the other end. You could think of those as an input and an output force and the output force can be many times larger than the input force. A simple machine could also multiply the distance. And the example we saw of that was the wheel and axle. If you have an axle and then the wheel part attached to it. If you rotate the axle, that rotates the wheel. And the distance that the wheel turns ends up being much larger uh, than the dis distance the axle moves. So a simple machine can multiply the distance. A lever could also multiply the distance. If you had a lever here and you put your input force there on the the short side then the output force would be over here but the the output force would be smaller in this case but it would move a much larger distance so a lever could be used to, to make this trade-off between force and distance and it can be used to multiply the distance and the, the third thing a simple machine can do is change the direction And the example we saw of that was a pulley. If you have a pulley hanging from the ceiling, for example, and you're pulling on it, there's a rope and an object, and you pull this way, you exert a force in this direction, and that results in a force on the mass over here in a different direction. So the pulley can change the direction. And all of the simple machines do one or more of those three things. They multiply the force or multiply the distance or change the direction.